Shalom Chabrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. We are here in Rome in front of the Colosseum. As many of you guys know, the historical side of the Colosseum, where thousands have been fed to the lions, have been burnt alive, Christians, etc. But it's a fitting place for our news broadcast today because we are about to go within the next two days up to Geneva, Switzerland, to the United Nations headquarters, where the talks are being done now for some kind of a peace arrangement with the Syrians something that's been spearheaded by the United States government. John Kerry, along with Foreign Minister uh, uh, Mr. Lavrov, Sergei Lavrov of Russia. But the odd thing is, are the Kurds who have been fighting and have actually done the most fighting with the, uh, uh, against the ISIS group there in Syria have been thrown out of the talks. They've not been allowed to even participate. Salih Muslim, who is there in Geneva right now, Al Jazeera has reported he has basically been snubbed by the convention there. Although he's not been invited to particip participate in the talks, but was invited to Geneva. The question is, is, is the Kurds being thrown to the lions like here in, in Rome? back in the ancient days. You cannot help but wonder if the United Nations is not some sort of Roman club, so to speak, especially in light of the fact that the Kurds, who were once an ally to the United States under President Bush, when Bush used the Kurds to justify his invasion of Iraq. This was the second invasion, of course, because we know that the Kuwaitis, he went to deliberate the Kuwaitis under the Iraqi control. And the second uh, move by the United States government, Bush cited that the Kurds were being massacred by Iraqi's leader Saddam Hussein. Now we see that the Kurds, again, under President Barack Obama, he even again began to protect the Kurds. But now that President Erdogan of Turkey has turned against them and is at the point of genocide of the Kurdish people in southern Turkey right now, the United States has sided with Turkey instead. Is it because the Kurds have exposed some of the illegal oil trade that is going on that Turkey is definitely involved in? Even Salih uh, Muslim has stated the one thing they hold against him is at one time he was helping Bashar al-Assad. He said, but we're not for Bashar al-Assad. He has imprisoned many of the Kurds. He has, done many, he has killed many of the Kurds, his military. But nonetheless, the Kurds are thrown out of the meeting. Why? Because the United States and NATO, their allies, they want the rebel forces in control of Syria. They want the oil. Russia signed a deal back in 2013 with President Bashar al-Assad for the oil. This is the reason why Russia is there now fighting against ISIS to protect Bashar al-Assad, to keep him in power, because that's who they signed the deal with. But the United States, NATO, nor the allies of NATO are going to allow this to happen. So it is a Roman club. And I believe the Kurds have been thrown to the lions, or maybe in this case here, to the wolves. I believe it is the state animal for the Turkish people. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom.